tracks are one of the components you can tune to change the performance characteristics of your truck. So let's look at replacing the stock shocks with some Traxxas big bore shocks. You can see they come in a set of four, um, but the oil is not filled in yet, so you're going to have to fill the shocks with oil before you can install them into the truck. Actually, gone ahead and installed the rear shocks in the truck. So I'll be showing you the demonstration with the front shocks. The process between uh, the front and the rear are identical. It's just two screws, one at the top to hold the shock to the shock tower, and another one at the bottom to hold the shock to the A arm. So removing to those two screws will give you access. Okay, so let's get to it here. The bolts holding the shocks at the top here are two and a half millimeter, and the ones holding the shocks to the A arms are two millimeters. So just remember that you'll have to switch out drivers. The stock shocks have plastic body construction versus the big bores is all uh, aluminum. The great thing about that is the shock caps on the big bores being aluminum will not pop off like the plastic ones on the stock ones will. So with the uh, stock shocks removed here, I'm just using some pliers to remove this little um, eyelet spacer on the top of the shocks here. Let's just do a quick compare between the stock shock and the big bore shock. Again, metal body construction. Um, also the shaft, the piston shaft on the big bores. Uh, it's got a coating so that it'll be much less uh, friction compared to the stock shocks. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the big bores in place. Now when removing the shocks, Make note of which mounting positions the shocks were on, on the shock tower and on the A-arm. This way you can put the replacement shocks in the same location. Or what you could do is change the shock mounting position to actually affect the performance of your truck. The 4x4 has three mounting positions on the shock tower and several on the bottom. Six on the bottom there. So you can install the shock on the uh, far mounting position there to give you uh, better stability and lower uh, ground clearance or you can put them in closer to the center to give you a bit higher clearance but then your truck will be a little bit unstable comparatively other things you can do with the shocks to change its uh, performance are changing out the springs. You can go with softer or harder springs. If the terrain you're running on is fairly rough, you're going to want softer springs to give you better traction. If you're running on mostly flat terrain like the road or something, 
you can use a stiffer spring. Other things you can change are the shock oil and the dampers inside the shock. Okay, so that's how you go about installing the uh, big bore shocks and replacing the stock shocks. Again, the process for the rears are the same. Two screws at the top and two at the bottom.